Hey, this is Steve. Uh, I'm going to show you what I did here with my uh, auger setup. Of course, you know, it is non operational in scale. I just, I'm not that technical. I really ain't that smart to figure it out. <laughs> okay, so what we did here uh, is we took a piece of tubing. Uh, this is just one piece of tubing down through here. That's all it is. And uh, what I did is I figured out the length that I wanted from my uh, underground chute to where it's going to dump onto the chip piles. So what I did at that point is I cut these little bitty strips and I just wrapped them around it and uh, made them look like they were sections. And then also I took my hobby knife and scoured it in just places to look like smaller sections, which you can just barely see. Okay, at that point I started making my frame for it, and I just, you can use any kind of channel, any kind of square tubing, I've got square tubing on here, and then I've got uh, the C channel right here, and then this right here is just thin strips, basically just build any kind of bracing that you want, uh, I made my height here, I figured okay, we'll have semi trucks that are simulating going underneath it, so I need to make it at least, 13.6 at a uh, closest point so we'll bring out the handy dandy end scale ruler here and right now at this point right here at the back I'm looking at 18 feet well 17 feet right here so we're good to go with semis going underneath it I took the wheels just off of a extra truck kit uh, in fact GHQ, when you buy one of their their uh, white metal kits, you get extra rear tire and front tire. So these are rear tires. And then these here are just smaller versions. And I just mounted them on there. Put me some decals on each end of it. I run me a piece of small round tubing down underneath here to simulate, you know, either electrical lines or to simulate a vent tube for uh, overflow okay and I just took just a piece of scrap plastic and I just cut it right here to make you know uh, a flow a, a flow deflector you might call it but other than that that's that's all I did to this and uh, cut it me an angle back here on the back to where it goes to down to the in the ground of which this is where my cover comes in handy and uh, it doesn't have to be anything special. It's a real rough look. Uh, I just I used some cheap paint that was old and dead and sprayed it, and it's got the texture of like a ten thousand pounds of <laughs> chips on it. And but that's how I'm going to do that. And to give me the access to be, make this maneuverable on the layout, I drilled a hole here. And what I'll do is I'll add one piece of tubing underneath it. And I run me a straight pin down on that, onto the layout. That way I can at least, you know, move it as I feel necessary if, if I want a different look. But other than that, that's that's what I did to that. Uh, took a couple hours to build. But, uh, oh, here's another point. I put me a piece of C-channel all the way down the length of it. That way it gives it a brace uh, to make it stiff. But it turned out pretty good. I, I really like the way it looks. All right, well, that's that's about it. There's really nothing technical about it. Just a long stick and a couple of supports. All right.